Hey everybody, Rob McGarty here, Bushwick Real Estate Services. Today we're checking out 4935 126th Ave Southeast in Newport Hills. Let's go. All right, as we come in the front door of the foyer, we've got uh, a tile floor here. And then over to the right is a big living room uh, with a wood burning fireplace and a big picture window looking out to the front. Actually, it's a slider. Uh, stairs upstairs there, we'll get to those in a minute. We're gonna come down this hallway over to the left. We've got the dining room. One thing of note in here, the ceiling height in here is a little bit lower than the rest of the house. Uh, the rest of the house is also a little bit on the low side, it's just under eight feet. And then this opens into the kitchen, hallway down there, so we'll check out this side first. So kitchen's got, you know, basic white cabinets, coarse countertops, newer appliances, this wild fan we'll check out in a second. Um, and then they've got the door set up here. Everywhere is smart locks, but they have the handle style. And so to do this, you actually need two hands or some crazy maneuver to open it because it's two, basically two handles. Uh, so two car garage right here, really nice, lots of space. It looks really deep, so you fit a big car or a lot of stuff. This door just goes to the outside. We'll save ourselves from doing the, um, the double handle thing again. Extra cabinet down there. Pop into the kitchen for a second. The fan is crazy, I've never seen anything like it. So basically you turn it on, you hit the button for fan, it magically opens up like this and then starts going. So that's a little crazy. Um, I don't understand the lower part why it even needs that. All right, then there's the dining room heading down here, laundry room, but this goes to the outside. And then continuing down the hall, we've got a bathroom over to the left. So it's a powder room. Notice we had a wall mounted toilet and the whole house is like that, which is interesting. Uh, then we have family room. This is directly behind the, um, the front living room, and I'm gonna slide over the outside here. Closet under the stairs, and now we're gonna head around and go to the upstairs. So let's go up and check this out. Um, the stairs are a little bit steep, and it's pretty drafty up here, so I don't know if it's just attic insulation or not. We are gonna start, we'll go counterclockwise, because we come around the corner, uh, All still all oak hardwood up here. This will be the master of primary, it's got an okay size closet there, but then it has another closet here and then this huge bathroom, uh, another wall mounted toilet, and this giant black tub with granite tile tucked in the corner back here, uh, fully jetted as well. So that was a bit of a surprise. And then coming out, we've got a linen closet over on the side, back bedroom here, a decent sized bedroom here, again, keeping all oak floor up upstairs, which is really nice. Hall bath. Uh, dual sink, laundry chute directly down to the laundry room, and then like a separate room, but no door with the toilet. Of course, it's a wall mount again. And then a tub and that granite tile on the back of that as well. Then the bedroom in this corner, this is the smallest of all the bedrooms. It's probably about 10 by 10. Uh, also of note, all the windows are upgraded, vinyl double pane windows. And then final bedroom here. This is a pretty good size. They have a built-in Murphy bed. It feels like this wall here was pushed out for that uh, tub in the the uh, the master there and then this is the access panel for the jets and stuff all right that wraps up the upstairs